Hi, my name's Rob Matthews. I'm a writer and project manager at Eurocom Entertainment Software, the developers of GoldenEye Reloaded. This video diary is going to showcase some of the stealth-based gameplay featured in GoldenEye Reloaded. We're going to start in the second level of the game, the facility. Bond is working alongside his colleague Alec Trevelyan, 006, to investigate a corrupt Russian general who is selling arms to terrorists. MI6 won't be able to reach us down here, but we'll be able to contact each other through the alternate channels on the ultra-low frequency sideband. We've got 19 minutes till those terrorists make the pickup. It should be enough, so long as Yurimov hasn't spotted us. I'll take the fuel tanks. I'll get the weapons cache. Last one out buys the first round. You're on. So, we've come across a locked door, but Bond being Bond, he's always going to find a way around. So if we look at this vent cover, we can try and pull it from the wall and climb inside the air vents. This is going to provide us with a great way of getting deeper into the facility without the Russians knowing exactly where we are. I'm approaching a checkpoint. Security seems light so far. So while we explore the vents, I'll just mention a little bit about some of the talent who have been involved with the project. We have Daniel Craig providing the voice of Bond, and Dame Judi Dench plays M. I'm going dark, James. Radio silence. Good luck. We also worked alongside Bruce Fairstein, the scriptwriter of the original GoldenEye, to bring the story into the present day. So we're coming up on a moment now, inspired by an event in the original film. Bond is going to climb down and rudely interrupt a Russian soldier sat reading a newspaper on the toilet. So we climb down very, very slowly and gently, and we take him down. So alongside the actors who provided the voices of the characters, we also worked with Daniel Craig's stunt double, who provided motion capture data for many of the animations you'll see Bond perform in the game. Go check the perimeters. Go fix the pumps. Go fetch the teaser. Nobody cares about it. We're going to sneak into the next room now. We're going to survey the situation. You can see a guard patrolling. You can also hear a couple of guys talking. Chances are, if we go into this room, we're going to get into a big firefight. So we're going to backtrack and see if we can find an alternate route in that provides us with more options. So we've now got the high ground and have a much better view of the space. If we think like Bond, we'll try to pick off the guards in isolation using stealth and surprise to our advantage. So we've taken down the first guard swiftly and silently. Just as Bond would do in the films, gritty, visceral, and very much in your face. Take the next guy down. The other two guards have no idea what's happening still. Bond can get the drop on them. So we've cleared this area without anyone raising the alarm and calling for backup. It's always in our interest to think smart and be like Bond. So player choice is a big feature of GoldenEye Reloaded. Now the soldier sat working at the computer terminal there, he's not an immediate threat to us. 
so we'll leave him alone for now. Up ahead of us, we can see and hear a security camera. It's better to avoid being seen by them, otherwise reinforcements will be dispatched. Throughout the game, it is important to listen out for audio cues that may hint at what lies ahead. I need new shoes. These boots are killing my feet. Ah, uh, 12 hours sentry duty. It's too long. So there's another guard. He's not an immediate threat, so we can choose to leave him. However, we need to get past this guy at the vending machine. Give me my drink. So we take him down stealthily. The player should always be on the lookout for items of interest. So we've found a silenced submachine gun that will provide us with more firepower. Now this space isn't great for Bond, it's brightly lit, there are guards to our left, ahead of us and to the right. Chances are, if we go across this walkway, we'll get spotted and then we'll end up in a big firefight. But if we look to our right, we can see another walkway that may provide a better option for getting to our objective. So we're going to backtrack and see if we can find a way to the other walkway. So this vent has actually led us to the underside of the walkway we saw. This is a much better route for Bond as it's not an obvious place for the Russians to be watching and it also provides us with a great vantage point of the space. Taking the road less travelled James, the lower bridge will lead you to master engineering. So we're going to wrap this video up now. Thank you for watching and stay in tune for our next video that will showcase some of the action based gameplay setting the stunning 7 level.